Well, I'm off to meet with him. Please wait here for me. Okay. Looking forward to your good news. <sighs> that should be everything. The only thing left to do now is to wait until the debate. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting nervous again. You were great, Nilu! Your words won over Inaya! Talk like that during the debate, and you'll get an easy win! Thanks for that, Paimon. But I still feel like it'll be an uphill battle. I need to be calmer, cooler, and more collected. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm acting as everyone's representative, so I'll need to act brave. Even if I won't feel like it. Hmm. <gasps> What's left? Huh. Huh? What a strange question. Isn't a theater just... a theater? Why would it need to be anything else? Wait. You're not asking what the theater does, but what it is. Yeah. Let me think. Um... How can I put this? Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to keep doing this every single time. <laughs> uh, Naya really wants to win. She doesn't want to lose anything else because of her painful past. Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently superior. Okay. Mr. Zubair has been meticulously managing the theater. Everything checks out. Art must first be appreciated by others to confer value. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Ah! Got it! Mm -hmm. When we were trying to find a way to save the theater, we heard many stories not of the theater, but of the people whose lives have been touched by it. Zubair Theater is our reason for coming together. It connects us all in unique ways. Okay. In other words, it's like a bond. A bond? Okay. The theater provides money for Miss Raycar and her children, inspiration for Mr. Kasani, and enjoyment for the people of the Great Bazaar. It also gives Inaya shelter from her family. It has brought us together after taking care of every single one of us. And its story won't end here. In the future, many more people will come to the theater and receive its blessing. And we'll all be there for them. Our warm, welcoming community will show them the same kindness we were shown in the past. Aside from the delivery of performances, isn't this another reason for Zubair Theater's continued existence? Uh... I don't know if the sages will agree to that. Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely felt that warmth during the preparations for the event. Sure, that's well and good, but I don't think this... Okay. But... Hyman doesn't see how this will help in the debate. Y yeah. That's another prong in our attack. Thank you so much. Hyman also feels a lot more relieved. Let's show him what we got. Sorry for the wait. I'm back. Things okay. went a lot more smoothly than I expected. It didn't take long for him to accept the debate. And it's set for two days from now. Why are you all smiling so much? Did something good happen? We realized that your dad might not be as scary as we had thought. Hmm. <laughs> We just finished our prep. Rest easy. It will all turn out well. Okay. We have to win. No, we will win, Inaya. Okay. <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right. Everything is ready. The only thing left is to wait until the day after tomorrow. <laughs> I hope.
hope I'll actually be able to get some sleep over the next two nights. I don't think things will go well, though. Just saying. Uh, how long was I supposed to wait? Wait for the two days. 15 to 18. Okay, let's go with this. I don't think things will go well, bro. I don't I I I don't think they will. I honestly don't think they will. I don't think Nilo is dumb as hell, but I don't think she's smart enough to enter a debate with a freaking scholar. All right, let's um, let's let's finish off this quest, the the Nilo quest. Let's go and see the debate. Just uh, don't mind that. All right. Okay. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. I am Safwan, a scholar from the academia, and I will serve as this debate's adjudicator. All right. I swear to judge both parties with the utmost wisdom and impartiality. I will neither interfere with the proceedings, nor demonstrate bias. I ask for both parties to stand. May the Dendro Archon also serve right. as a witness to this duel of wits. Since you so desperately demand an explanation, I will expound on the Academia's stance. You may have misunderstood us from the outset, and believe that the Academia is prejudiced against you. However, the truth is that the Academia wishes for every resident of Sumeru to be afforded opportunities to grow and cultivate their wisdom. Therefore, the works they consume should also possess enlightening qualities and intellectual value. We have failed to identify these qualities in the shows performed at Zubair Theater. In other words, instead of struggling against the Academia in pointless confrontations, if you had spent your time reflecting on but improving the, the quality of your shows and enlightening your audience, Zubair Theater would not be today facing such a tragic fate. Have those qualities. That's just impossible. That's that's literally impossible. Aggressive from the get-go. He's really putting on the pressure. Can Nilu stand her ground? Calm down, Nilu. First, carefully analyze what he said. He said that we were shut down not because the Academia looks down on the arts, but rather because our shows aren't up to their standards. However... Mm, true. Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently superior. Okay. The theater carries everyone's feelings and serves as the bond that connects us all. Useless. Inaya really wants to win. She doesn't want to lose Maybe anything useful, else because of her people. But this one and this one are the most. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Uh, maybe this one, actually. Hmm. Art must first be appreciated by others to I'm confer not sure, value. Actually. This one might Mr. be the Zubair one. Mr. Zubair has been meticulously managing the theater. Everything checks out. So this, either this one or this one. I honestly don't like this freaking... Don't think that theory. would make for a good rebuttal. That way of choosing whatever, which one the freaking answer is, I don't like In it. In your eyes, our shows can't <laughs> meet the academia's uh. expectations.
shouldn't it be the audience who decides if a show is intellectual or enlightening? Why is someone from the academia judging that? Also, I believe that there is no such thing as a wiser or more enlightening performance. Art doesn't discriminate, and it appeals to all. Everyone has the right to appreciate art. Appreciation is but a primitive form of satisfaction. Guidance and enlightenment are necessary if we are to induce growth in the performers no. as well as the audience. This stance holds performers to a higher standard and encourages the development of the arts. If all performances are simple-minded, require little effort to comprehend, and lack any impetus for the betterment of society, then the people will not be able to develop a greater level of artistic understanding. Nurturing the populace's understanding requires a long and arduous process, and guiding this process is the academia's true goal. He changed the topic Come without patting an eye. I'm busy. Good thing I'm prepared. <laughs> if I remember correctly, what I should say here is... No, it's probably this one. The theater carries everyone's feelings and serves as the bond that connects us all. Art must first be appreciated by others to confer value. Someone at our theater has tried that before. He was a famed artist, but he recognized that very few people could connect with his works. I agree that art should be enlightening, but we can't pursue that goal by creating complicated works. If a work can't tap into an audience's personal experiences or feelings, then its contents may as well be a castle in the sky. What's the point of performing a show that its audience can't even follow? Uh, that would dude, only be forcing people guy. to watch something they don't Watching like. Watching something that does not you make can you... Only reach it's better to watch something simple from a place that you understand. Of ignorance. That it would be easier to find entertaining, as simple as it is. But watching something you don't understand is like, what, what the fuck am I watching? What, what just happened? In that case, before passing judgment, you should first become a better dancer than me. You tell them, Nilu. Looks like he's backed himself yeah, into a corner. Yeah, just, he's, he's As the party holding the burden of proof, Sharif has performer. failed to provide sufficient support for his judgment of the quality of Zubair Theater's programs. Oh, come on, dude. Likewise, the definition that Nilu put forth is but her personal opinion. Neither party is the victor for this particular point of contention. No, this, this Additionally, debate I must harsh, request bro. that this both isn't... parties exercise greater control on their emotions. Keep it up, Nilu! You're doing great! In that case, I shall speak of more concrete matters. The essence of this issue is that you have violated the law, so you must now pay the price for your transgression. This oh, course so of action is also he, completely he, procedurally have, sound. Have, uh, we have already contacted Zubair Theater multiple times regarding the theater's repertoire. Uh, However, you have consciously ignored our warnings. This guy is, or perhaps your compliance was purely superficial. Regardless, that failure has indirectly led to the present day's proceedings. That is indeed so, this, according to the laws decreed by the Academia. He started talking about procedural stuff, so I need to focus on... Mr. Zubair has been meticulously... Mr. Zubair has already provided signed copies of all documentation related to our operations. Everything is perfectly filled out and valid. Although the theater's performances don't align with the Academia's requests, the law doesn't say that Zubair Theater can be demolished only because mm -hmm. of that reason. Demolition notices need to be provided in writing and made available to the public. Otherwise, the theater can continue to operate as long as its license is valid. <laughs> Failing to follow these rules makes your stance procedurally unsound. Yeah, yeah! That's right! 
there are different ways to Within apply the, the rules. There is Dude, precedent where is that? for this. Where, where does that say that? So long as this matter is discussed within the academia, this course of action will come to pass. Looking at the past 27 cases of similar nature, 90% of them support Sharif's claim and position. However, the demolition process in those cases was only started after discussion at the academia. In other words, premature notice of demolition is indeed a rash Look act. <laughs> That's more than enough. We've proven that the order is unreasonable as it currently stands. <laughs> Cease your futile resistance. Mew's definitely won this point, right? You're right. Stay focused, Mew. Even if permission for demolition has yet to be obtained, it is a fact that your performance has violated the Academia's policies on numerous occasions. Based on that fact, we can permanently revoke your right to perform in Sumeru. Uh. Under the current system, it is indeed possible to immediately revoke Zubair Theater's performing rights. That's a thing? Rather than protecting Zubair Theater, I surmise that your true intention is to maintain your hold over your audience and their patronage as your source of income. Without them, Zubair Theater is nothing more than an empty building. And without its performances, it's, it's, the theater we, has nothing oh else of God. value. What you said isn't true at all. <sighs> Keep it cool, Nilu. Why is he... Wh what? Why are you listening? Oh, oh my God. Is this why right. people... I need to keep down. calm, but he... She's done fine so far, but... I... Just a little more. Super Theater isn't just a performance venue to us. Inaya really wants to win. She doesn't want to lose anything else because the theater carries everyone's feelings. Oh, uh, I'm probably going to have to choose this and then this, right? The most important thing about an experience is yeah. how you choose to interpret it. Zubair Theater isn't simply a performance venue to us. It means more than that. It's been our home for a long time. Miss Raycar can't go on adventures anymore, but she has found a stable career and a new life at the theater. Her son, Soarin, has already passed his theater exam, and he'll soon be our newest member. Mr. Kasani found a new way to look at art. He decided to stay at the theater to watch us grow. Mr. Farhad and Mr. Hushong visit even when there isn't a show going on, and they always tell us lots of entertaining stories. Even Inaya wants to stay with us. And she's starting to look forward to a new future. Zubair Theater exists for them. For every single one of us. Perhaps Zubair Theater has provided you with a multitude of positive emotions and experiences. However, you have misconstrued something, young miss. The interpersonal relationships you speak of were established upon normal theater operations. Sheikh Zubair operates the theater for his livelihood. His employees work for their wages, and the audience comes to enjoy performances. Oh my god. Relationships are merely a byproduct in this exchange of interests. They may be pleasant and captivating, but they can only ever be secondary. When scholars collaborate to solve difficult problems, we freely share our knowledge and resources with one another as if we were all kin. However, this collaboration ends but after the results of our work the, are published. Oh the reason is simple. We are scholars, and there are new projects that await our attention. He really doesn't think much of relationships. Paimon also thinks he did a lot of prep. He's been solid as a rock! Sharif's argument is currently the more persuasive of the two for this point of contention. The continuance of the interpersonal relationships Nilu spoke of remains hypothetical before the theater's demolition, whereas the situation that Sharif described has been well documented at the Academia. The Academia has made significant academic contributions, in no small um, part due to its talking, researchers' please, efficiency and ability to compartmentalize. 
Oh no, what should we do? Things are going in the opposite direction! A setup? So Nilu's got him? Good. Just say it. He said what he said. Oh my god. The next Nilu. one, but is this are really you... the best thing to do? Really? It might be too cruel to Inaya. Oh, it's not the it's not the, the freaking other one, but it's this one, huh? Okay. Fine. She already agreed to this. She wants to win, no matter what. Mr. Sharif believes that interpersonal relationships are a byproduct of working towards a goal. Once that goal is achieved or abandoned, those relationships would have no more reason to continue. Then, if someone has failed to live up to his expectations... If someone has failed to live up to your expectations and ran away from home... Then she shouldn't be your daughter anymore. Right? Inaya... Aren't Sorry, we having Nilu. a debate? What's, As expected, go what's going on here? I please? should be the one to say it. <laughs> you don't need to shoulder this responsibility for me. <laughs> if in your eyes, the purpose of my existence is to become your academic successor, then that goal has ended in complete mm -hmm. failure. By your logic, that means there is no more reason to sustain our relationship as father and daughter. Members of the audience who do not belong to either debate party, please speak with caution. Let her speak. What she does not say, Nilu will. No matter how many disagreements we've had, the truth is that you are still my father. You're so immersed in your own world, you can't understand why we come together for the sake of relationships. Yeah, don't look down on us. You can watch a <laughs> dance anywhere, but there's only one Zoo Bear Theater. Uh, I'm almost starting to feel sorry for this guy. What okay, with the idiotic things lie, he kind of said. This way. Is this even a debate, dude? This is just a farce. Order! Order! Members of the audience, do not interrupt debate proceedings. I confess that this is the final argument we had prepared. Disown me, and you will win the debate. But before that, Father, I have some final words to say. I've been doing some soul searching. Not about whether I should have run away from home, but whether there was any point to my personal rebellion against you. I kept trying to earn your approval, but I only disappointed you over and over. The truth is, I ran away from home as a means to vent my recurring frustrations. That is to say, I was exerting pressure on you and hoping you'd give up on your lofty expectations. But by doing that, wasn't I just doing the same thing as you? Uh. <laughs> I won't force my expectations upon you anymore. At Zoo Bear Theater, I have found the life I've always wanted. I will move on from my family troubles and strive towards my new goal. But if you dare to harm this place, then I will stand uh, with my friends my here guy. What are you and saying? fight against you. This is not the time to space out, Sharif. The debate is still underway. You already consider them to be your friends. You should be asking us that question. Of course we are. Miss Inaya is a really good friend. It was a bit of a process, but we won her over. Make no mistake. All those who come to Zubair Theater become However. one of us. However, we what? will always be with her. <laughs> Such puerile uh, what? It is surprisingly a relief. <laughs> he gave up. Wait, what are you? Ah, uh, never mind. 
I Wait, this whole what? thing was a farce, dude. Does this wasn't even a proper debate. We won. These two options are stupid. Whatever. Maybe Inaya was good for standing up for herself, but the whole th <laughs> I relaxed for a moment and I feel a little faint. It looks like he still has a place for her in his heart. Terrific work, Nilu and Anaya. They likely won't cause any more trouble for us. Didn't know you could get so fierce. I have a lot of newfound respect for you two. Uh, this really took a lot out of me, though. <sighs> I don't ever want to do this again. Both Miss Nilu and Miss Inaya were so cool. I don't want to Should celebrate. Should we throw a second round of celebrations? Sparks, People shouting and disturbing the freaking procedural. Was this even... How can they use such freaking stupid way to decide on a freaking... Oh my god. Oh, it's you. Yes. I feel a lot better. The more I think back on everything, the more surreal it all feels. I don't think I could repeat what I did a second time. Yes, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> I see. You mean how fate brought me to the theater, right? Then I'll have to tell you about my teacher who Mr. Zubair had mentioned. Mr. Zubair opened his theater when I was still a child. There was a beautiful dancer. And from the moment I saw her, I couldn't look away. I thought to myself, the gods must have blessed Bruh. her with such talent. But later on, she would actually smile down at me and say, just the opposite, in fact. Yeah. She said, dance is an art born from toil. It isn't a gift from the gods, but a creation by our own hands. It is a beautiful thing born from our life experiences. Whenever there is joy or something to be celebrated, people will dance. In other words, any place where people can effortlessly begin a dance will for sure be filled with the blessings of everyone's happiness. She wasn't looking for flowers and applause. All she wanted was to see her audience smile. Right. The same as what Mr. Kasani believes. I was completely moved by what she had said, so I started taking dance lessons from her. And later on, I began mm. to dance here in her stead. Before she retired, she told me, for as long as you live, never forget what dance means to others. This is why Mr. Zubair and I never intended to listen to the academia. Even though it ended up causing everyone a whole lot of trouble, Thankfully, everything worked out in the end. Mm -hmm. Although, I do have a small regret. That doesn't yeah. matter. Even that though can, she has already decided to stop fighting happen. with her father, you they people never managed to have like a real conversation real with each life other. Old peaches and... Oh my god. Before he left, Mr. Sharif looked like he had that a lot of his mind. Best. He probably has a lot of things he wants to say. All right. But we'll now perhaps never get a chance to. Okay. Yeah, but I still hope that things can change. Doubt. You and Paimon are more than welcome to keep attending our shows. <laughs> Who knows? Next time, you might see Naya on the stage. Inaya? Let's be sure to come back often. Who knows? Maybe things will have worked out for her. You two are welcome here anytime. Seeing you safe and sound in between how? adventures will keep me from worrying too much about how, you. How? 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 I think I already see you, you two as people of Why? the Grand Bazaar. Yep. 
<laughs> Without a doubt. Uh, never mind. Let's just wait. Ah, uh, damn, I didn't check the time again. <laughs> Was it 20 to 22? The next day? Damn, I gotta stop that. It's a freaking bad habit. Whenever I just see that I need to wait, I just go straight to the clock. I go straight for the clock. No time to waste. Two days. Bruh. God damn it. Every time. So what? Are we going to have a show? I was expecting Nilo's quest to end with a, a dance show thingy. I mean, she is a dancer, right? So I just assumed, well, I guess assuming is bad. I just thought maybe we would end with some kind of dance. Some kind of dancing. I knew it. Yeah, here's the dance. I knew, I knew it. I, I knew it. But it wasn't as... Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... Hey everyone! What I'm I'd like to introduce you to our newest member, Hinaya! So you quit? Do you quit? Did uh, you quit? Hello, Are you really tired? She'll be dancing for us from now on. So please, give her your support. She won't look that good. Hinaya's taken her place on the stage! Oh, Paimon wonders how she'll look when she starts dancing. She won't look that good just because Mihoya won't give her a freaking hmm. reskin. When you, you know, stop and think about it, happy endings impossible. like this sure aren't easy it to come by. can't do that for a mere NPC peasant. <laughs> of course. Nilu's efforts, everyone's wisdom, Inaya's determination? Huh? What do you mean by that? Hmm. You do have a point there. The whole demolition thing was going overboard. But he really could have banned Nilu and the mm. others from dancing. If he I really wanted so. to be the ruthless, he could have done some far, real so. damage, even without winning the debate. Oh well, it's not like we can understand oh, come how people on, like dudes. him think. Just go away. Let's focus on watching the performance. Huh? Are we going to have Wait. some kind of talk? Look at the cat oh dragged God. in. Life doesn't work that way, okay? Sometimes Isn't people's that relationships just end on a bad note. And then that's it. Alright, in fact that happens more often than it. This freak oh my God. Oh, it's the freaking peasant. The riffraff. Oh, it's you two. Look at Paimon. Paimon's already starting her I don't have slow. much to do today, so I just came to look around this place. Hmm. Are you looking for Inaya? No, I am simply here to watch a performance. There is no need to trouble her. Well, I was for a time. My loss at the debate caused quite the loss of face for the academia, so there was a period of unrest. I use this opportunity to suggest that my superiors temporarily suspend me from duty. Otherwise, the rumors would probably persist for even longer. Suspended from duty? Yes, I am temporarily unemployed. However, I now have an abundance of time so I can afford to come here and watch a show. I admit that I do not understand the magic that this theater possesses, but my curiosity has been piqued. 
I still cannot forget that young lady's perseverance. Inaya would almost certainly mature in the presence of such a person. There are no parents who do not worry about their children. Oh my God. I suppose she managed to hit a weak spot. Uh, Never mind. Why can't you just let I him do not have bad, the right to bro. say that. You're already here, so you might as well go see her. No, that is y not Mila necessary. Was seen already, so. I will take my leave after the show concludes. Do not tell her that I was. I here. knew it. Oh. Come on. Who knows if you'll get a chance like this again? Huh? But, but, huh? Huh? You said you were going to make peace with your past. Show your father how uh. much you've grown. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. Everyone at Zubir Theater has your. I own it. Hmm. I give up, dude. Hey, let's go Whatever, else. bro. We I give up. You sure they'll be okay? I've given up on this whole thing. But I think we should have faith in them. Yeah. Ah, yes, Inaya. I have something for you. I'm still learning. It's hardly a masterpiece, but it's yours, if you'll take it. Huh? Um. You don't have to take it. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, uh. Never mind. Uh. Oh. Oh. Let's have a heart-to-heart, -heart. Father. Bro, I gave up. You know what? Freaking me, Holyo, do whatever you want. <laughs> Like father, the like guy's daughter. been bad his whole They're life. They're both so just... awkward with their feelings. Oh my god. You know what? If, if whatever. I, I'm, I've stopped thinking about it. Yeah. She probably would have snuck away as well if I didn't drag her back. Do you think they'll be I able to reconcile? I've given up. I've given up. I don't know. I'm I don't not care. Sure. A complete reconciliation may also not be the best thing for them right now. All those years of arguments and misunderstandings can't be settled overnight. It might be best if they continue to keep some distance for now. But no matter where their hearts and bodies may be, they will always be family. All I wish for them is to be able to one day tap into the warmth of that bond. Oh, by the way, what everyone's really thankful to you for helping out with the what debate. Is this? What so is this? So we made you a little something. Is this some kind Hope of you furniture? Like it? I have this thing as a furniture thing, but I'm just asking what this in particular is. Is this, is this some kind of figurine? Because there's no way she can just hand me a freaking, freaking building-sized uh, architecture isn't this piece. Zubir Theater? like this like we're even looking down at it it's, it has to be some kind of figurine right yeah i'm just gonna assume that's what it is whoa this is amazing it's so detailed and polished <laughs> we've also never made anything this complicated before Mr. Zubir and Mr. Kasani took charge of the design, while Inaya and I made all the little pieces with the help of others. Miss Raykar and Miss Nadia made and assembled the centerpiece. As adventurers, you two will doubtlessly travel to many more lands and see many more I... things. That's why we hope that your time at Zubir I don't Theater really have will become a to fond say, memory of your really journey. Feel you two like are welcome back anytime. That fond of a place for me, not gonna lie. You're welcome, and there's no need to be so polite. You learned fast. Don't say weird Come on, like that. take it. This is the story of you and me. 
It's a tale that I'll never ever forget. All right, that that's it's done. Honestly, it started off strong, but then it just took a weird turn out at, at the debate. All right, it, it took a weird turn. Just when the debate started, and then as it began to go on, it became more of a farce, like a clown show, right? And then, oh my god. And then the reconciliation thing, like, come on, dudes. Someone, you know what? I gave up already. There's, there's no point. We're done.